got uh, even some stronger storms that are fired up to the southeast. So downtown right now, though, it is looking pretty quiet. We've got overcast skies at this point and we have stayed dry, but it is a muggy one out there. 80 degrees is what we're sitting at. Look at the dew point. 71. It's like walking through jello a little bit if you're walking around outside. Temperatures across the state warmer to the south. Middle 80s is what we're looking at for areas like Creston as well as Lamoni. 79 degrees out there in Grinnell. So tracking out the showers and thunderstorms again. Metro right now is dry. You go eastward towards Mitchellville. They're picking up a shower, but much further to the southeast and you can see some of those storms starting to fire up and strengthen a little bit and start just to the north of Centerville out near Bloomfield. Even a ton picking up on a little bit of action there. Uh, you can see by North English continuing to see showers and a few storms. Um, again, even a stronger storm making its way over Rathbun Lake at this point. Uh, so don't be surprised if you see quite a bit of lightning out there. Strongest of the storms though should remain to our east. You can see uh, they're continuing to modify the severe thunderstorm watch area out west towards Davenport. Otherwise, storms continue to make their way towards Milwaukee and Chicago as well. So uh, southern portion of the states, the main area we are going to have to watch as we head into the next few hours for that storm development. And again, areas south of I-80 is where we've been seeing the bulk of that activity so far as well. So regionally speaking, Staying pretty quiet for the most part out there, out into the Dakotas, down towards Nebraska and into Kansas. They are seeing clear skies, and as we head into tomorrow, not so clear for us. We've still got chances for some showers and some thunderstorms out there. Should be isolated in nature, and again, likely I-80 southward, uh, but we will still have chances. So if you got weekend plans, I would uh, plan on at least a chance for a shower or a rumbler to roll through. You can see starting off pretty warm. That's going to be an indication of the dew point we'll have out there tomorrow. Again, going to be a muggy one. Temperatures back up into the mid to upper 80s. And if you're headed out for lunch tomorrow, again, plan on bringing that umbrella just in case as we do have a decent chance picking up on a shower or thunderstorm. So by 7 p.m., we should really start to see these grow upscale. And those are going to continue to work their way eastward. And by midnight, could still continue to see some of those showers and thunderstorms south of I-80. And if we do see some stronger storms, plan on some heavier rain. You can see the isolated nature of the storms into the day on Saturday. And then we will continue with at least an isolated threat for showers and thunderstorms into the day on Sunday, too. As uh, we look at a pretty warm and muggy one out there all weekend long. So if we do get if we get hit with one of the stronger storms, would not be surprised to see an inch and even as much as two inches of rain right now. Again, bulk of that activity south of I-80. If you're much north of I-80, likely not going to be picking up much from this system as we see it wake its way on through. So could see again some strong to severe storms out there tonight, mainly looking at large hail and the potential for some damaging winds tomorrow going to be isolated and not nearly as strong as we've got the chance for out there today. High tomorrow at 86, 88 for Algona, Carroll at 87, 85 for Lamoni and uh, your eight day forecast. We are warming up 92 by Monday. Chances for showers and thunderstorms nearly every day next week.